Hey, what's going on RC people? Tony here, CCXRC, and we've got a new monster truck on the bench. It is the FS Racing Victory. It's a 110 scale monster truck, four wheel drive, brushless. This is the FS53810 model. As you can see, we've got it out of the box. We're going to do an unboxing for you because I know a lot of you guys like to see what comes in this box here. We're not going to take too much of a look at the box because the information on it isn't fully correct for this model. There's some of the things that are, but uh, we'll get inside we'll take a closer look. I believe this is a 3065 KV motor. It might be a 3660. Uh, hard to tell based on the packaging here. It says it's waterproof. Um, and it's a pretty rad looking truck. Really like the color scheme that they've got going on here. Uh, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. All right, so here it is. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we got inside. Uh, there it is, the truck. And it actually looks like what I'm gonna like most about this is that the truck is gonna come out first. Normally there's a whole bunch of other things that are on top of it that you go end up opening first, so that's nice about this. In person it looks really good, feels pretty solid. So let's set it aside and let's look at what else comes in the box for you. Alright, here's another baggie with goodies in it. We've got our manual, let's take a look. Uh, a couple of other spare parts, a sticker set with FS Racing logos, and a couple of other things. We've got the uh, antenna tubing and some it looks like uh, spacers here shock spacers and so those will come in handy if you like to adjust your uh, your shocks and it's nice that it comes with an included extra amount of these here so not a bad uh, little parts kit All right, let's look at the manual here real quick it's black and white shows the different part numbers it's got some explosions it's the basic manual it'll do Another box in here. This is probably going to have the controller. Uh, it does, and I recognize this controller from the uh, SST racing truck. It's very similar. However, this does have a uh, bending antenna, and it's uh, gray or silver instead of the orange retro look. So we've got a little wrench in here for our tires. Got our battery charger. This is a 2S, 3S balance lead charger. And we've got the power supply for the balance lead charger. So that's nice that it's a US plug. You don't have to order the little adapter. And we've got some LED lights here that's a bonus. And it looks like another antenna tube and some other just spare parts and uh, probably to put the uh, wheelie bar on. So since that did not come on installed on the truck. And the wheelie bar needs to be installed. It takes four screws uh, and so that should be pretty easy to install and we'll go ahead and do that in a minute. But first let's look at the remote control. So it's your standard fare. Takes, uh, ooh, eight batteries. Uh, I prefer six but um, it's not terrible. It'll take eight. So here in the back you've got your on-off switch, your reverses for uh, your throttle and your steering. You've got your throttle trim, your steering trim, and your dual rates. All right, so let's open this up and see what components we have inside. Well, first look, it's got a pretty basic layout. It uses a Dean's style plug. We've got a 2S LiPo battery. It's kind of weird that this came with the uh, battery already plugged in. That is not typically ideal. I do not leave my batteries plugged in, so that's kind of a weird shipment thing that they've done. Battery still works. Uh, it's a 2S uh, 7.4 volt 5600 milliamp hours. So that's a generous battery. Um, we've got a aluminum chassis I can tell here. It looks uh, carbon fiber is the look that they give it. It's just a sticker on the bottom. I'm noticing though that these are Phillips head screws into here instead of a, a hex which I prefer the hexes but you know it's not the end of the world. Um, flipping it back over we can see the um, the ESC on the top and that says it's 60 amp. It seems small for a 60 amp but um, you know I, I don't I can't tell I guess visually I would have guessed 45 amp just based on size but what do I know uh, we've got our motor here with a heat sink on it we'll pop this off it does not tell us which motor we have on here so it's one of the two that I listed before um, should be plenty of power. I'm not too worried about which model of it, it that is. Interestingly, you can see there's a clear plastic part here to see your gear mesh. I don't. I can't say that I've ever seen that before. It's kind of cool. 
Uh, what else do we got here? We have our steering servo and our on off switch. Uh, blacked out rims, the tires feel good, nice foam in them, and uh, I really like the look of it. So, overall, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a black rims guy, so I do dig these rims. Take a look here, we've got our receiver in this box with our antenna sticking out. I prefer not to put the antenna on and have it sticking out of the body, so I will just tuck this away as is. I don't need a whole lot of range for what I do, so uh, I'm happy doing that. So we'll pop off this uh, plastic battery holder. Uh, it does not use Velcro, it's got this nice little tray that's adjustable up and down for different uh, varying heights. And so we'll pull this battery out and we'll see what we have inside of here. We can see that we have a metal, it looks like a metal drive shaft going through. We've got plastic shock bodies and it looks like plastic shock tops as well. They look metal but I think they're just painted that way. Um, they feel like they're plastic. I could be wrong though. It's got a metal brace across the top of the chassis to stiffen it as well. It has plastic shock towers, which I'm not opposed to. I like the flex that that has. Um, the aluminum ones tend to bend the way that I run with all the crashing and bashing that I do. And so your, uh, your wheelie bar just kind of fits right in here. It's got a nice grooved fitting that uh, it just kind of snaps in place so that you can then uh, put your screws in. So holds it holds it nice and firm, it, it seems like. All right, so that's a quick look at the FS Racing Victory Monster Truck. As you can see, everything about it looks pretty decent. Um, it's got the aluminum chassis, which people seem to like. But what I like is that it keeps the plastic, like shock towers and some of those things, because, uh, you know, as much as people like the aluminum, it bends. Um, and the plastic doesn't usually break for a shock tower. So uh, I, I actually prefer that. So uh, overall, for a monster truck, it looks pretty good to me. Hopefully it'll perform as well as, uh, as it looks like it should. So it'll really come down to the, uh, the control, the handling, and the motor and uh, speed that it has, and uh, just how well it, uh, it stays planted and jumps. So we'll see that very soon for you guys. We're gonna jump this thing, bash it, and just have some fun. So tune in next time. Tony here again, CCXRC. Have fun RCing, guys. We'll catch you next time.